Hello Pisces, welcome back to the Spirit's Path. This is Dee, and this is your November horoscope for 2021. And just to recap, this is the year of the ancestors, so everybody's listening to the universal beat. They're uh, dedicated to walk that path past those birch trees and, uh, you know, to see whatever happens for the month of, uh, for the year of 2021. Uh, month of October was about the three of stones and creativity. All right, one that's uh, based on security and stability because she's got her horse, her hands on the horse as well as the bull. And the horse is slow moving energy. So this is some slow, like I said, slow moving energy for you in October. Let's see how that relates to your November to see if that creativity um, moves forward for you, Pisces. So this month's theme for you is gonna be balance. Um, whatever creative endeavors that you had in October is creating that balance for you, whether that's work, work life, friends, family, that balance of, you know, with Thanksgiving coming up. Um, but it's both the, you know, the, you know, being balanced with earth, being balanced with nature, being balanced with the universe, having that balance, um, within yourself during this month of November, okay? And this month of being thankful and, and, and being grateful for what, what you have, okay? Balancing those emotions of um, those that were with you in the past with those that are with you now, okay? Balancing, you know, life overall that, you know, as we get into the holiday months, um, you know, people are gonna be working harder you know, so they can get to those, you know, those weeks off, you know, if you get weeks off for your, you know, for your, uh, you know, for holidays and things of that nature, that four day weekend around Thanksgiving, right? And just enjoying the time, you know, have that balance of, of, of family, right? Having that balance of, you know, spending time with others and just, you know, being balanced throughout. That's what the 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 theme is for you this month, Pisces. So let's, let's see how the weeks come out for you. During that first week, the theme is going to be about the green man. Another life lessons card. So the green man um, is the opposite of the green woman. Okay, so you know when the wanderer starts their journey, they run into the shaman and the seer, both that want to manifest you know, whatever it is that you have to be manifested, you know, on your path. And then the green woman shows up and wants to give you that nurturing ability. Now, the green man, his aspect is to work, it's not counterproductive, it's to work with the green woman. While she's the nurturer, he wants to give you the mantle of kingship within the wildwood forest. Okay, he's got the horn of plenty there, as well as, you know, the staff of knowledge. Okay, so you have to balance both the masculine and feminine attitudes this month of the green man and the green, green woman. You have to be the nurturer, but you also have to be the king and, and take that, that mantle of saying, you know, this is how we want to do things, that leadership, right? Not that, not that the, the green woman can't be, you know, a leader. She is in her own right, but she's a nurturing leader. This one, you know, he, he wants you to, you know, to, to blow into that horn, right? Each cauldron is different. Uh, the green woman has that, that cauldron of milk. You know, he has this, you know, it's a bubbling cauldron, okay? But it's, it's a power. It's a power that's, that's there to give you... Uh, to, you know, to give you that authority, that leadership that you have. But you have to balance that in the right form and fashion this month, okay? Last month was all about creativity. And the month before that, you were, you were re reuniting with people. So, you know, maybe that's a balance of taking a leadership role in a relationship. Taking a leadership role within a family that you never had before. Okay, but doing so in a way that's nurturing and guiding and, you know, possibly instructing. Okay, 
And in knowing that, the universe has got your back in, in both these instances. You know, it's got your back in, in the balance, but also has your back um, with the green man. Now, if you look on the hillside, you know, there's a five of bows and empowerment too. So you might be empowered during this first week to, you know, find find that balance within yourself. Say you're out of balance, right? Uh, maybe being empowered to talk to the right people, right, to get some of that balance back. Let's say it's work life, you know. Hey, I want to, you know, work a little bit more from home. Or maybe you're tired of working home and you want to go back to work. You know, working that out with your bosses, right? Finding that, that balance at work with your peers and your coworkers. But you have to take that leadership role in, in order to do it. During that second week, November, for you Pisces, it's represented, wow, another, another life lessons card with a hooded man. Again, he's got a staff, okay, that staff of knowledge. But he's also talking with the, um, the page of arrows, the wren. And, you know, that page is, is asking, you know, what do you need to learn to overcome? This second week, in order to find that balance, you have to look within. Okay, you have to look, uh, you know, you don't have to seclude yourself. You don't have to isolate yourself, though that's what this hooded man likes to do. Uh, you may do that within yourself and just say, you know what? You know, I need to change something about me. I need to find that balance. Here I've asked, you know, for that outside influence, but I also have to ask for that inside influence. And only I can control that. Okay, only you can control that, Pisces. That's what I should say. Uh, and, and in so doing, you know, you ask yourself, you know, what do I need to learn to overcome to maintain this balance for, for the rest of the November as well as into 2022? And, you know, the hooded man, he's got that light of hope. So even though things may be dark, you know, and you have to think with balance, it's a balance between lightness and darkness, right? Good and evil, you know? Um, holy and unholy. So you have to, you know, there's that balance there. There's also, you know, the, the hooded man's holding it, like I said, that light of hope. All right. With hope, there's despair. So there's a balance between the two. Okay. And that goes back to that eight of barrel struggle. You know, if you're struggling with stuff, what's the other side of the struggle? It's being successful. Right. So that light is there to guide you with that hooded man. Okay, the staff, you know, in, in the doorway to the, you know, to the tree, you know, is leading you to way someplace warmer, right? You're not in the elements, but it's finding that balance between the elements outside and the elements inside. Maybe you, maybe the physical elements, right? All right, Pisces, let's see what the third week has for you. And the card that jumps out is another life lessons card. Oh, my gosh. Four here out of the five. So this third week is Son of Life. Okay, and, you know, the week before, you know, it may have looked, you know, dark. But here you've got light. Okay, so here you, you know, in order to have that balance, you have to have that balance of the, that energy, that sun energy of so much energy that's out there, I need to balance it. I can't be so energetic, you know, that I'm all over the place. I have to, I have to control some of that. But at the same time, I, I don't want to suck it all in. You know, you want to give some out to everybody else. During this third week of, uh, of November, you know, leading into Thanksgiving, maybe it's time to radiate some of that energy that you have. All right? Give, you know, give some that you're, you know, as well as get, getting some. And just... You know, um, I don't want to suck too much energy. I just have to have a, you know, a good balance of that energy coming in to sustain me, right? Because I, I want to be able to spread out as much energy as I can, as well as take as much energy in as I can, okay? But it's a fine balance, okay? Now, the sun is opposite the moon, right? And the moon, it talks about emotions, um, you know, it talks about new beginnings, Right? So you have to balance that moon, sun, that yin yang energy as well. That that's out there. Make sure you don't take too much of this energy, but also make sure that you you know give enough of that energy out because the sun's the sun's got that you you got that nuclear reactor within you, okay. 
And, you know, you have to be able to go out and balance between the rain and the sun, all right, between winter and summer, between fall and spring, the energy that's coming into you to give you that balance overall going into December, into that holiday spirit. And at the same time, balancing that thankfulness, balancing that gratefulness, okay? If somebody's helping you out in November, help others, pay it forward. You know, be that ray of sunshine for them. Be that beacon of hope as well. All right, Pisces, let's see what that fourth week has for you. <laughs> what a powerful month, Pisces. Another life lessons card. And this one's the wheel. Now, what I like to say about this card, Pisces, is you are the maker of your own destiny. You are the, you know, the maker of your own fate. You control the loom. You can make whatever it is you want to make. You can be balanced. You can be unbalanced. You could take on that leadership role. You don't have to take on that leadership role. You can look within, or you don't have to look within. You can give life, or you don't have to give that energy for life. Where do you want to take your fate? Where do you want to take your destiny? What do you want this, this sweater to look like? How are you going to be balanced with that? you got the psychic energy of the three herons as well in the back. And to me, this is just universal energy. You've got the sun and the moon sitting there. you got the sun twice, right? Here's the sun in the regular card, but then you've got the sun you know, up here as well. How do you balance that? How do you balance moving forward into, into the holiday weeks of I'm going to be able to move forward any way I want? I can shape my destiny. I can shape my future. I have to remain balanced in order to do that, though. You have to take and give. You have to have trials and tribulations. You have to have successes. With every success, you know, there might be five failures. But you control that. You control how you're moving forward, Pisces. You control that balance that's in your life. Work-life balance, relationship balance, societal balance, however you want to look at it, Pisces. Having that balance in your life allows you to spread joy to others or not. And, you know, just be the creator of your own destiny, creator of your own fate. So there you have it, Pisces. That's the card of the month, Balance. Hit that like button for me, subscribe to the channel, and share it with others. And this is D for the Spirit's Path, and we'll talk to you in the month of December. Take care, God bless, and stay safe.